We're gonna tell you how to grow your YouTube channel by writing trends, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I'm here with Dan from the YouTube channel Creator Fundamentals. Dan, welcome to the channel. Great to be here. Yeah, nice to see you. Nice to meet you here at Vid Summit. Absolutely. So Dan grew his channel by writing trends to over 16,000 subscribers. So what we're gonna talk about is we're actually gonna talk about his process, we're gonna talk about the decisions that he made in order to make that happen. So first off, man, killer move on that, awesome. very well done. So so what was your process there? How did that whole thing play out? All right, so just a little bit of a backstory. Uh, I actually kind of saw this, this particular trend coming and it had to do with YouTube's change of the monetization policy. I actually had done a previous video about the frustration people were feeling waiting in the 10,000 view queue to be reviewed by YouTube to be monetized. So because of the amount of time that had passed and all the feedback I was getting, I knew A, people were upset about it, which is that emotion that you wanna to try to tap into when trying to get uh, into a trending topic. But I also knew that there was a change coming and that people weren't going to be happy about it. So what I actually did is I actually approached this trend in two different ways. I decided to make two videos right away. The first video, rather than doing what I knew may uh, be out there in terms of showing people how to simply uh, get the new requirements, I kind of met everybody uh, where they were emotionally to tap into that emotion to you know create a relationship or an engagement with them that I understood exactly how they felt. Okay, let's break that down for a second. Let's unbox that. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, what you're saying is, is YouTube made a change. Yep. And then you said, "Wow, people are going to be upset about this." Yes. And I know people are going to be upset about right. this. So, because of that, I need to meet them where they're at. Yeah. And then kind of walk them through what's happening. Exactly. Okay. Fantastic. So, with that, when you had that first video take off, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, "Okay, people are loving this, right? right. They're digging this. They're, they're I, 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 I nailed it, mm -hmm. right?" After that, what did you do? So in this particular case, because there was a educational element to it, I actually wanted to separate that emotional response from what would be the evergreen side of this, which is how to actually get the thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So I immediately decided to make two videos and I released, released them back to back, not really knowing that it would succeed quite as well as it did, but I knew I'd be tapping into that emotion and I knew people would want to watch this video because of the frustration that they felt. So I immediately made those two videos. I released one on one day uh, and in the morning I woke up and everybody had tapped into it with that emotion that I had met them with and that video just took off. So so basically you, you piggyback. So it's like, hey, they're loving this one and you didn't wait. No. Right? You're like, oh yeah, this one's this one's going. So I right. need to I need to just hammer this one. And right. then you followed it up immediately with another video. Literally the next day? Literally the next day. Fantastic. Yep. Now from there, did you did you keep stacking? To a certain degree, yeah. I ended up putting out video. I mean, they didn't ultimately perform as well as those two videos. Sure, they, sure, because yeah. the whole thing's kind of yeah. like yeah. You know, tapering off. Um, so basically what I did is I followed those videos up. Obviously the next one, I tried to target that keyword phrase before anybody else did, which was how to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch yeah, hours. Smart. And then the next couple days or within that week, I put out a video on how to get more subscri or 1,000 subscribers as its own video and then how to get 4,000 watch hours as its own video, trying to keep all within that same topic but re continue to release content that people were responding to. Awesome, man. So this is the stuff that he's doing on his channel. Basically, Dan, on your channel, you are helping creators learn the fundamentals of YouTube, right? You're, yep. you're helping them grow through the process, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, basically on my channel, my message is to deliver your value through online video. So I want to bring tips and tricks and best practices to them that can help that new YouTuber who maybe doesn't have, you know, didn't come into it with the, you know, video skills or, or, you know, graphic design or anything like that and kind of walk them through all the steps it takes to grow your channel. Fantastic, man. That's a great service to offer. Yeah, fantastic. If you want to know more about Dan, I'm going to put a link to him in the description at the top of the screen. Of course, Dan, thank you so much for coming on. It's great I to really be here. appreciate it. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.